came with an MC60 desk microphone and the symptoms uh, for this particular one is not keying up the radio and uh, I just checked continuity tests with the two switches here for the PTT these uh, appear to be working <clears throat> but down here on the lock I just noticed I've done a continuity test on the bottom trace and there's no continuity on that bottom trace say between this circular part there and the switch and if you look really close it looks like somebody in the great wisdom looks like the trace has been cut why would they cut the trace that's uh uh, trace has been cut on the on the lock switch kind of bizarre but uh, other than that so apparently the array the microphone transmits for a couple two or three keys and that's it I just tried it on my TS440 and uh, never keyed up the radio at all so, I'm going to reflow the solder connections here. I'm going to fix up that spot down there and see if we can't uh, get her to transmit. Something's not, uh, something's not right here. But I'm going to reflow the connections here and see. Try it again, see if she'll key the radio. Okay, so I. Uh, Fixed up the connection down here. Made the uh, solder connection across. I reflowed the most of the solder connections on the board here. And uh, this trace here was a little bit dark, so I shined it up and give a little dab of solder. I uh, tried keying keen the microphone on the radio, and the TS440 is working no problem with this microphone now. She's just every time. Every time I hit the PDT, she transmits. Um, I noticed uh, when the mic microphone was turned, I should say the mic game was turned on on this thing, or mic amplifier, whatever, um, and you grab hold to the base of the microphone, when you key up, you get nothing but a letter of RFI. So I was reading online, um, you could, well, take the actual head of the microphone apart and change two wires, because apparently uh, in the head of the microphone itself on the mic connector that connects to this part pin 1 and pin 7 uh, was swapped around by Kenwood I guess some kind of error with the mic but uh, there was another um, um, article about just in a 10 nanofarad capacitor between the blue wire and the uh, and the uh, shell with that uh, with that connector so uh, I just added that done that little modification right here and uh, I just done a little, little uh, contact with the with the guy sugar 51 and um, and the audio was no problem no RFI in the uh, microphone at all so if you have an MC60 and an audio issue just put a 10 nanofarad capacitor between that blue wire and the uh, shell or the connector, whatever you want to call that. And uh, yeah, your RFI issue will disappear. So you don't need to tear apart the head of the microphone in order to fix your RFI issue. So I figured I'd uh, <laughs> get rid of that issue for the, uh, for the owner of this microphone as well. Anyways, a little quick video. On the MC60 desk microphone. All best, boys. And Sugar 51, Juliet Queen. Victor Ocean 1, Mike Delta Sierra. I believe ending Sugar, ending Sierra, please. Uh, Victor Oscar 1, Mike Delta Sierra. 
Roger, Garthew Darrell, Leo 1, Mike Delta, Sugar, S51, Jake, Five and seven. 57 at uh, this time off the day, hi, hi. And my name is Alexander. Darrell, back to you. Roger, Roger, Alexander, Sugar 51, Juliet, Quebec. Um, you're also 5'7 back here. Uh, lots of, lots of audio. Uh, 5'7, you're sounding really good back here. And radio here is a, a Kenwood TS440. And I'm just testing a Kenwood MC60. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, the, the step up is doing great. You are coming over the pond. Well, the conditions are going down, I believe. So you are coming over the pond with no problem, Daryl. Thanks for a shout. Enjoy the weekend. Hope to catch you later. Victor Oscar 1, Mike Delta Sugar, Sugar 51, Japan Queen. Thank you. 7-3, Alexander. All the best. And I also changed it to rubber feet that were on these things. Seen awfully low. And uh, when you had it on the table, especially the wooden table I got over there, desk, uh, the screws in the bottom was scratching. So I got uh, got some rubber legs. It's a little bit a little bit higher. And she's not scratching at all. She's perfect. Anyway, that's the MC60 uh, microphone test mic. It's actually a nice little mic. Some people like some, some people don't. But uh, when I originally got my Ken Kenwood TS440. I uh, I got a MC60 this mark with her. Don't know whatever happened to it. In these days, I'll come up with another one. But uh, for now, I got this microphone all fixed up now. She's ready for action. RFI issues been dealt with. PTT switch problem has been dealt with. And the microphone amplifier works no problem. No RFI at all. Anyway, there you have it. Kenwood MC60. Nice little mics, I gotta say. Oh.